What the hell's up with Edie? She's found a new home, I guess. A super hot, sexy home? You take her on a mission, I'm gonna be just a little bit distracted. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So, I'm a loco, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty crazy, but the shit you've done? <laughs> makes me look sane. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. I'll talk to you later. You bet. That Primarch's got some real cojones. What we need are more politicians like him, taking names and kicking ass. <laughs>